Well, good morning, Dan. So the EPA estimates there are nearly half a million lead service lines across New York State, putting the state at number six for the most here in the U.S. Now, there are roughly 14,000 in Syracuse and Albany, as well as 23,000 in Rochester, and an estimated 40,000 in the city of Buffalo. Well, as you said, Dan, work is underway right now to replace them, but as we know, it's going to take decades, and we also know any exposure to lead is bad, right? especially for kids. It can lead to brain and nervous system damage, which can slow their growth and development, not to mention lead to learning and behavior problems, as well as issues with their hearing and speech. Well, as you said, research underway now between the city of Buffalo and the University at Buffalo to find a long-term solution to keep lead at bay while work is underway to remove these lead pipes. It's an unassuming building at the site of Buffalo's Colonel Ward pumping station, overshadowed by the historic steam-powered pumps. Well, then there's this, the Pipe Loop Lab. Right now, we're in our old meter shop. It's been repurposed. It's a testing apparatus that mimics water coming into a home. It's used to see what happens if the chemical composition in the water quality process were to change. That can maybe um, increase that potential corrosion for lead or actually some dissolution of scales that build up in lead services over time. Peter Merlot shows this old lead pipe from a Buffalo home. That beige is what's known as the protective scale. It builds up over time as water flows through pipes. That protects the water column from the actually the lead material. The pipe loop lab has harvested lead, newer lead pipes, as well as copper ones. Right now, they're testing orthophosphate. There's some theory out there that a little more orthophosphate will improve and get you better lead numbers. Enter UB professor and chair of civil, structural, and environmental engineering, Alan Rabideau, as well as a handful of students. Water treatment uses an awful lot of chemicals, and these are chemicals that may have no effect on the quality of the drinking water but do change the way that the water interacts with the pipes. Rabideau says after what happened in Flint, Michigan, and already in a partnership with the city on a sewer system project, they got together to be proactive. And this is um, intended mainly to identify any unintended consequences. So far, the corrosion protection study isn't showing any difference. Maybe a year plus before we actually feel comfortable making uh, any preliminary conclusions. Until then, they're hoping this pipe loop lab gets gains momentum, becoming common practice beyond Buffalo. We're always looking to improve, and any change that you want to make, you, you want to run through this. Oh, absolutely right. Keeping you safe. If you were concerned or wondering about the water quality or any lead issues for your home, the EPA actually requires all community water system to do what's called a consumer confidence report on its water. A link to that as well as the National Resource Defense Council's guide to see if you have a lead service line is available over on our Spectrum News app.